Let's move now on to the experimental results, which show, with video microscopy, mucus clearance on live sheep trachea under a variety of temperature and humidity conditions. The impact of reduced temperature and humidity on mucociliary transport is shown very clearly in this experiment, which compares the behavior of two tracheal samples. The first, on the left, is at normal humidity. The second, at slightly reduced humidity, 90%, only 10% below normal. Size is indicated by this scale. You will see that when the relative humidity of air flowing over the trachea is below 100% for a long period, the mucus layer will dry out. Of course, this prevents proper mucociliary transport, leaving potentially infectious debris stuck in the airway. For both recordings, the air was supplied at 25 liters per minute and 38 degrees Celsius from the humidifier. For simplicity, unidirectional airflow has been used in all the demonstrations. As we mentioned earlier, heat and water vapor are normally partially recovered during expiration. As the clip starts, the right trachea has been exposed to a constant airflow at lower humidity for 15 minutes. Although you can see tiny beating cilia flickering in the background of both clips at this stage, debris in the mucus of the right clip are stationary. Mucus transport is essentially stopped. The dark spots, moving quickly across the left clip now, show debris being cleared by effective mucociliary transport. After only an hour at the lower humidity, the mucus layer at the right has completely dried out. The clip is quite short, so let's play it again. Remember the right trachea has been exposed to 90% humidity for only 15 minutes. Then after an hour it has dried out completely. Any debris will remain stuck on the trachea and may lead to infection.